Next up, next door, talk to Miss Fraves, a former member of the Australian Army. Welcome, Miss Fraves. She's one of our teachers here at St John's College. Thanks for being here. Um, what do you think the Anzac Spirit is? The Anzac Spirit is about the values and ideals that were developed through years of soldiers fighting in Europe and Italy, etc. And in the current conflicts of today, values such as courage, mateship, um, loyalty, there's many more. I'm sure I can't think of right now. What's the, what does the Anzac spirit, does, do you reckon the Anzac spirit is flourishing in Australia today? Um, yeah, definitely. I think it inspires some to go on and serve their country in places like Afghanistan. I think it inspires others to be involved in the political process to stand up for the things that um, other young Australians have lost their lives for. Next up, Bogus and Babs. Ask a few questions to one of two Carl Bowie. Um, welcome, one of Carl Bowie. Um, thanks, thanks for being here today. Um, one of Spike, what do you think the Anzac spirit is? The Anzac spirit is a, um, is a set of values which inspires you to do greater. It inspires you to help your mates and um, to do the right thing by people. In reality, what it is, it's actions, not words. You um, show people what you can do by your actions and not by gobbing off like a lot of young people do. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, do you think the Anzac spirit inspires young Australians today? Oh, yes, it does, most certainly. A lot of young people want to join the Army or the Defence Forces because it has that spirit and they want to be part of that Anzac region. Thanks for your time. A true example of the Anzac spirit is Chipper Mark Donaldson. He embodies the Anzac spirit and all that it entails. In 2008, Chipper Mark Donaldson demonstrated determination and courage when he ran 80 metres across enemy gunfire to rescue an interpreter he knew only for a couple of hours. He did this because, like Chipper Donaldson, he had a family and deserved to live. In addition, Chipper Donaldson held the Anzac beliefs that those you work with are your mates, and you never go jack on your mate. Chipper Donaldson is a living example of the Anzac hero who lives and breathes the Anzac spirit. My name is Josh Bowling and I'm inspired by the Anzac spirit. In 2008 I went to Singapore to represent Australia and I put a wreath on the tomb of the Anzac soldiers. It was a special time for me and my grandparents because I was wearing my great grandfather's medals. Thank you. My name is Stephen De Silva and the Anzac Day spirit has inspired me to pursue a future career in the Australian Defence Force. My name is Liam Hobbs and I'm inspired by the Anzac spirit. Every year I go to dawn service to pay my respects with my family. It makes me feel proud to be an Australian. In concluding, I hope this video has shown you that the Australian youth today, and more important, general Australians, are still inspired by the Anzac spirit. It is evident that the Anzac spirit inspires young Australians to pursue a future career in the Australian Defence Force and Australian politics. It inspires young Australians to attend the dawn service which thousands of young Australians attend yearly. It inspires young Australians to do a remarkable like Josh Bowen and travel overseas to visit the graves of dead Australian soldiers. And it inspires young Australians to risk their own life to save another like Trooper Mark Donaldson. But more important, the Anzac spirit makes us feel proud to be Australian. In 1980, an Australian songwriter wrote a song that said the Anzac spirit would be dead in a couple of decades. This was due to the poor turnout across the country by young Australians at the Dawn Services. But today I can say with confidence that the Anzac Spirit is alive, inspiring young Australians to do the impossible. Can you hear Australia's heroes marching? Can you hear them as they march into eternity? There will never be a greater love There just couldn't be a greater sacrifice There just couldn't be